Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Relics, and today we're going to do Requiem for our brother versus brother competition for Halo 4. Um, if you guys watched my last video uh, for Dawn, the very first mission, uh, you guys know that I got my first death ever as far as 2019 uh, for the record book. And uh, yeah, it was my first death. I went back, I watched it. I still don't understand why my neither did not track it. I died because a, an elite, or two elites rather, were shooting at me with their storm rifles. My neither didn't track one of them, so it di therefore it didn't die. Um, therefore I took more damage than I wanted to sustain in that moment, so I ended up dying. Uh, I, also wanted to, I also did not make a new record, even though it was the best run I have ever played. And I went back, I counted, I was literally two kills away from an untouchable medal. Which is the medal, the skill, the the kill streak medal that I you need to do a new record on that mission? Because considering that I've never died before, right? Had I gotten that medal, I probably would have made a new record. I don't know. I don't remember how much the medal itself gives as far as points. I will have to go back and see if uh, my previous run had that in its video in the footage. I don't know if my camera was covering it or not. I think my points are on the left side actually of the screen so it may not have been covered so yeah i need to go back and see how much the untouchable metal uh gives i didn't actually check that but i was literally two kills away i went back and counted every enemy and if the first elite in the elevator shaft where you punch him and he, you shove him down to the abyss if he counts as one kill that means the elite who killed me would have been my 50th kill and i would have gotten the untouchable metal but that elite didn't count uh, he didn't give you points when you shove him down, so I don't think it mattered. But it is very, very upsetting to see that I didn't, I didn't, I, I died. It is very upsetting to see that I died. Um, just to reinforce that, uh, the 1159 time that both me and my brother both got identical times for, those were the fastest we have ever done the mission, in which. Had I not died, I would have been even faster than that. Now again, the time the time didn't matter because we we both got multipliers of three at the end, so the time has nothing to do with the score. That's not a problem. But it would have been nice to have seen that I would have had an achievement. Um, I probably wasted another thirty seconds with that death going back and having to kill everything. So it is disappointing to see that I could have had a eleven thirty time, possibly. Which would really be really been nice if that was the case, because I was I was on a roll, and as I've mentioned in past videos, with every death you kind of get uh, frustrated and flustered, and therefore um, maybe my game was hindered because of that. I don't know. I still did really well. Again, had I not died, I would have had the best record of all time. But unfortunately, that's not the case. So we're gonna go into Wreck Realm. Hopefully, this will be much better. And, uh, yeah, my brother, uh, died once on this mission. He got a decent score as well, as far as what we've seen in the past. Uh, I, I do believe I hold the record. I want to check real quick. I do believe I hold the record for this mission, though. Oh, this one. Yeah, so I have a 61k record. Um, you guys can see the time. It's not great. Uh... But he's right there behind me. But unfortunately, he lost his score by about 2k. Uh, his his record, that is. His overall... Uh, his score this year lost to his record by 2k. I'm expecting to do the round the same as him. Around 50-something. High 50-something. But we'll see. We will see. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. In just a second, I need a drink. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Alright, so, yeah, I am looking forward to doing better. Let's do this. Oh, the dumbest landing. Master Chief should have died here. We did just fall from freaking at uh, the atmosphere. 
but don't worry, I'm perfectly fine. I could get, just get up and move around. All right, we're gonna skip the cutscene. I'm tired of watching the cutscenes. It doesn't look like the Covenant fared much better than we did. How many ships made it through the roof? I didn't get them. Plenty. So there's some Covenant here. They're just like alive still. Barely. You could kill them and get some uh, points. Although I, I, I tend to not remember where they are, I guess. I. <laughs> okay, don't do what I did. I just wasted time. Weapon wise, you don't need any of this stuff as well because there is going to be a, a cache up ahead that will give you weapons. And as we know, precision weapons are the way to go in Legendary. Covenant. This might actually come in handy. So. The pattern's different. But I'll try to triangulate because this position. first part is all ranged, I don't think I actually can keep it. So again, I just wasted time. I really just wasted time. So don't do what I did. If you guys are watching this for a playthrough, uh, for a like a walkthrough, don't do what I did. That was that was a waste of Warthogs, everything. Still in one piece. Nice to see your luck right. is holding up. So over here, there's a uh, power rifle. Definitely want to pick that up. Keep your magnum as well, as long as you're good with precision. Uh, you want to get all the headshots you can. It's the best and fastest way to kill in Legendary. Chief? About my condition? I didn't want to mention it, seeing as how it's a complete long shot, but since you brought it up, it is possible that getting home could help me find a solution for my rampancy. How? Well, as far as I know, I'm the only AI ever generated from living tissue. A clone of Dr. Halsey, to be precise. It may be possible to recompile my neural net by replicating those same conditions. But that means getting back to Halsey soon. All right. This first part could be challenging if you don't have good aim. I'm hearing that strange signal again. There's fear odds, there's snipers, again. there's ghosts. Do you think there's something to it? Just gotta make sure we get our, our shots on. His behavior is odd. Hostiles! We oddly enough, the elite is just sitting still for me to kill him, so that's convenient. There's a sniper up ahead. We do want to take him out. All right. As long as he's dead, I don't have to fear about dying too much. Uh, if you get too close, though, there will be fear rod grunts that could just blast you to bits. But. Yeah, that guy was probably the biggest issue. Oh, that jackal's in my way. There's a carbine cache here as well. As well. So we can pick up a carbine. Oh my god, my aim was terrible right there. So I just be careful, there's still fear odd grunts around. Uh, those guys didn't seem to have fear odds though. So another sniper ahead. I hate the carbine and bat rifle in this game, they're so bad. Alright. I should actually be using this, because uh I could get more carbine ammo, I can't get more battle rifle though. Alright. Chief, several patrols just reported in that. inside that structure over the ridge. It's possible they're onto something. Beam rifle. Nice 85. That's good. <laughs> but 
but it doesn't matter because we're going to drop it for this one. 91, that's even better. I'm stuck. Okay. Alright, so this part's a couple fear rods we need to watch out. As you guys can see, he almost if cheated me with that. Alright. I don't suppose you have a plan for that. We could always ask nicely. Asking's not my strong suit. That's why I take the uh, beam rifle because of uh, the elites. Some people prefer to just do the noob combo with the plasma pistol, but that's not me. Woof! You running up on me like that. So you do want to get your shots on here because you don't get any precision weapons available. So if you miss, you're not going to have enough ammo to kill all these guys. Which I am not doing a very good job at. <laughs> My god. I... The neither in this game is so trash. Why do the frags not kill these guys, man? I don't get it. Just enough ammo for this part as well. Not so much I could use this. The rifle shots don't kill the grunts in one shot. Incredible! Didn't know that was the thing. Alright, so I could go over here, pick up this guy. Oh, of course it fell. Pick up this beam rifle. Ugh. Oh. That elite dropped his camo module. Let's have a look. He did. <laughs> the elite wasn't even over here. It was all the way at the very end of the ramp. So scripted. <laughs> There's that phantom signal again. I heard something that time. Sentinels. I wondered when they'd show so come up. over here, there will be a carbine cache as well. You can get more ammo for our carbine. Then we continue on. There. Chief. A console in the back. Because sometimes the weapons can disappear, including the weapon cases that are on the sides. So because definitely want to pick up ammo when problem. we can. Hmm. Okay. In service of Forerunner Shield World, designate Requiem. Requiem. At least we know where we are now. Let's see if it can tell us what the Covenant are so interested in. Just FYI, I can't skip this. Huh. What happened? I don't know. It locked up. I'm detecting power fluctuations in several locations. I'll put them up for you. Hopefully we can find some way to get this cartographer back online. What's it doing? It's all right. This all right. energy is actually a ferroelectric data field. 
Your shields are just the random covenant just spawn, which charge. is pretty stupid. Will this bring the cartographer back There's three. There was three. Partially, Treated me on a triple this kill. This type of processing system usually works in parallel. We'll have to locate its twin. This is one of those parts where I should have gotten a huge kill streak, but the covenant's very spread out. So unfortunately, that's not possible. This run, unfortunate, but not the end of the world. close by. The cartographer should be back online. We may be able to use it to track the ship's location. I hear the grunts, but I don't see them. Neither's track the Excuse me? You didn't hit me with enough neither's. What the fuck was that? The cartographer should be Excuse me. We may be able to use it to track the ship's location. I don't think I got the untouchable metal on this mission either. So again, chances of me making a new record is impossible once more. What the hell was that? Not to mention, he shot me from over there. You guys saw in my last video, we couldn't track him, the Elite, for some reason. And that was at close range. So, I just got cheated. By a Jackal. What the hell? Not to mention, I killed all these Jackals and then more just spawn. I don't understand. I don't understand. I just got cheated, man. I just got cheated hard. We can't give the Covenant access to the cartographer. Clear them out. Oh. Should have been now quick, one more. To the cartographer. That's annoying as shit, man. That jackal didn't even hit me enough. Alright. The cartographer Calm down. The transmission is coming from everywhere on the Chill. planet at once. It doesn't want to triangulate infinity signal. Oh wait. I got it. That can't be right. Scan again. We've already passed through one layer of the planet's surface. It's not crazy to think that someone else made it deeper inside than we did. You mean the planet's hollow? Let me see if I can figure out a way to reach these coordinates that doesn't involve us digging a really big hole. There's a terminus on the far side of the complex. We can portal to the planet's core from there. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Let's get to that terminus and find infinity. 
What do you know about it? Right, so we can sit here for now. Not much. She was supposed to be massive, but the project was only in prototype when we left. Oh my god, I was like, why can't I shoot him? There's a grunt body in the way. So stupid. Pistol for that guy. I watch out for a sniper across the way as well. What the hell? It's out? <laughs> hey, bro. You're right. Hostile pistol ran out of ammo super fast. You can see it coming. All right, so we don't want to get a banshee just yet. We want to take out some covenant or down here. I think that should be good. Alright. Me personally, I don't like to use the Banshee. Um, not right away, at least. Because the Banshees in this game, the enemy Banshees, are just cheap as shit. They could aim straight down and shoot you. Whereas we can't do that. So I wanted to take out as much infantry as I could first. I thought that was the single elite that I needed to kill, but it's not. Oh, this banshee's so stupid. It's probably the worst banshee in the history of Halo. Oop. Oh, 
lovely. Lovely! He can see me while I'm fucking camo! That's fucking great! Complete 100% camo and he saw- What the fuck is this checkpoint? I fucking killed everything and I gotta go back two fucking minutes? Are you fucking serious? Two fucking minutes. Oh, what a fucking joke, dude. Wow, dude. Two fucking minutes, man. That's unbelievable. I killed every fucking enemy here except for one guy and tell me I get sent back two minutes. Unreal. This is why I fucking hate this game. Oh my god, dude. That bullshit base of maneuvers, man. Dude, that's so ridiculous. I can't believe I died like that. Full camo. Full fucking camo, he just whacks me. And of course, enemies in here have 100% uh, tracking shots, so his, his uh, concussion rifle didn't miss, of course. God, this is the worst Banshee ever, man. Two deaths. So stupid. And that was a two minute checkpoint, man. Two minutes. Two fucking minutes. I might be right for the the ghosts. Ah, uh, not happy. What? I hit him. You just have to watch out after you kill the ghosts. Um, the elites may try to, or the elites and grunts may try to get inside them, so you just gotta watch out for them. Does this count? It does, okay. I'm gonna say, does it count for kills?
where'd he go? How did I not kill that one? Oh, I love this game. Fucking stupid, dude. I don't even know what I got shot by that depleted all my fucking shields. Oh, look, they're not even together this time. I hate this fucking game, man. I hate 343 Industries, I hate Halo 4, I hate Halo 5. Dumb fucking games. It's weird that the elites are up there. Why is that taking forever to kill him? Look, that one died in six shots. And I didn't even use grenades. I'm gonna mute this. Because, uh, copyright. Stupid fucking copyrights. All right, well, clearly a shitty score. I video's already 34 minutes. How much did I talk? Like, thir like three minutes total. So my time multiplier is probably going to be non-existent, especially with three deaths and a two-minute drawback death, no less. Yep, great game. Great game. But the BS never ends. I don't know if I'm gonna go watch the cutscene. Fuck it. Woo! That is a total 24k under my brother's t uh, this year's record. I took five minutes longer. I did get a slight multiplier before the 30 minute mark, but what does that fucking matter? I got cheated any either way. 208, 208 kills, 3 deaths.
208 kills, 3 deaths. Yep. Great game. Lovely. Where jackal needlers can hit you from far away perfectly, doesn't even need the required needles to blow you up, and where fucking concussive elites can see you with 100% camo on and have 100% perfect accuracy. Where jackals for my last death, can get surprised and still shoot you 100% accurately. Love it. If you guys enjoy this, hit the like button. Comment down below what you guys thought. Enjoy my rage. And, uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Next up is my most one of my most hated missions in all of Halo, Forerunner. If you guys thought this one was bad, this next one's probably going to be just as bad, if not worse. Um... Anyways, as of this results, I can confirm right now, I'm probably going to lose Halo 4. Um, there's not many missions coming up that will make a huge difference. Obviously, the bigger vehicle missions will, you know, make or break scores, uh, you know, the overall scores. But there's no way my brother's not going to do good. Um, I just hate this game so much. The game mechanics in this game are just so bad. It's really bad to be honest but in any case yeah i'm gonna end it here thank you guys for watching hope you guys have a great day see you in the next one for forerunner bye